So we're gonna go over the installation of the relocation box. So first thing is you wanna make sure your base has a nice clean surface. Um, put your gasket down, install your components. The grommet where the grommet meets the e-box on all of the surfaces. This little crack right here, I'll give you a close up view. This little crack right here, that's where you're gonna wanna make sure there's a little bit of sealant because that's where they can leak from. So just a little dab, very, very small amount, get it in that crack and then you're good to go on all the, all the grommets. So once you do that, you got your e-box installed. You're going to throw that mid section down. You're going to take your, your wires and you're going to go ahead and take both wires and you're going to cut them. So one end is going to get cut with the control power feed. And the other end is going to be um, the feed to the starter. So you're going to go ahead and measure those up and we're going to aim from somewhere between 110 to 120 millimeters. So somewhere in there, you can go ahead and there's, all, there's all other ways you can do it. You can use 90 degree terminals to go straight to it. We like a little bit of a curve. Um, so we're gonna go 115 and we're gonna go ahead and cut it. So then we're gonna strip it back. Uh, I'm gonna need to grab another terminal. So you're going to match your terminal up. You're going to want to strip just a little bit more, a millimeter more than is there. So go ahead and strip it. Don't cut any wire off. So depending on which terminal you put it on, you're going to want to place this at a 90 degree angle to the other one. So we're going to go ahead and do this one. So we want it at a 90 degree angle that way. That way when it bends over, it can connect and there's not a lot of stress on that crimp. So we're gonna go ahead and take our crimper and we're gonna crimp this wire. We got the right die in it. We're at 90 degrees. We're gonna go ahead and place it in and we're gonna crimp it away. And before we crimp it, we're just gonna make sure we're still at 90 degrees, which we are. And then we're gonna go ahead and crimp it all the way. Gonna release it. See that we have a little bit of wire flashing over. You don't want any more than that. That's a good amount. We're gonna apply a little 1211 to the wire end just to seal it. And then we're gonna apply our heat uh, shrink. So when we do that, we're gonna have it come over just a little bit. That way when we shrink it, it actually seals that end again. So a little bit back, that way the shrink doesn't interfere with the terminal. But if it does, you can always trim it back. And you'll see this is gonna come down. Well, we missed it on this one a little bit. But that's okay. That's why we put a little 1211 on it. So normally what I like to see is that shrink come down and seal this end up. But this one missed a little bit, so we're just gonna throw a little more 1211 in there and that should seal it up good. So there you have it and do that to all four terminals. And then we're gonna show you the installation on the actual e-box itself. So once you have this down, you decided this one's gonna be here and you did the other one opposite, it's gonna be there. You're gonna go ahead and place your 35 millimeter nut with a washer. You're gonna go ahead and place that through flat washer on that side. Ah. And then you're gonna bolt this 
through the e-box housing. All right, that guy doesn't want to go. We'll leave it in there for now. So flat washer on the inside, and you're going to go ahead and I'm going to thread that in there. So you can also use a little plumber's putty or Teflon tape on this just to seal on that insert. That insert's epoxied in. So you're going to go ahead and tighten it. And you're going to watch that crush washer. You don't want to tighten it too much, but you're going to want that crush washer to crush. That lock washer to crush. Right, that's all you need. It's tight. It's not going anywhere. So this terminal comes around, comes, <laughs> comes around and hits there. Same thing, lock washer nut. So that leaves us the other side. You're going to do this on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and do this off video and then we'll show you. So there we are. You can also put this wire the other way. I like to do it like this. I feel it's the best. And you'll notice that this box actually has a cutaway to allow that wire. So that brings us to this side. So we got a, uh, the bolt, we got a lock washer, we got the battery lug, and then we got a flat washer. And you'll see it holds that battery terminal just nicely off of it. So that way you got a little room for the heat shrink. And it's just a really nice slim setup. You could also put a cap over this to cover it. Same with those. But a little sealing on these just to seal those threads. But go ahead and put a flat washer on next on both of them. And you can actually apply a little 1211 in here if you really want to make sure it's sealed. And you're going to go ahead with a non-locking washer. And so that's going to create, that's going to basically lock this stud in place. So you're just going to tighten those up a little bit. They don't need to be crazy tight. Um, you've already tightened that bolt. You can go ahead and just put that there and just tighten it a little bit. You don't want to strip the threads. So there you have that. You're basically locked in place. So now... Your battery cable that comes off this end is going to go here. It's going to get a lock, wa uh, lock washer, and then it's going to get a locking nut as well. And so that's going to create a nice seal. These are sealed. They're secure. They're not going anywhere. Um, we don't have to worry about grommets here. We have the temperature sensor grommet, which I use for external fuses. If you're interested, we'll wire you up one. Um, but that's pretty much the installation of this box. The only thing to, f to finish it up is you put that box in, fill that with desiccant, the next gasket, remember put a little sealant there, gasket on, glass on, hardware in, you're going to tighten from the inside out. So you're going to go ahead and put everything in and you're going to hand tight from inside out, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 in out and then you're gonna go ahead and do a second tightening and you're gonna watch this glass start to deflect a little bit and the gaskets start to turn black where it meets it and you want to make sure all the gaskets are clean you don't need any sealing except for on the grommet once that's all tight and good then you can flip it over but don't flip it over before that because the beads will fall out into your e-box then you'll have to start over again from that section but that's pretty much uh the installation video on the relocation kit a little bit more involved we can supply you with these wires if you want. Um, it'll be an extra cost. And we're also going to be wiring up fuses. We have an external single fuse. And we can also do two single fuses and a triple fuse box if you want. So these are options that we'll offer. So yeah, there's our solenoid relocation e-box. Um, check out our website. Hit like, share, tell your friends. And thanks for watching.